four-time All-American from Ohio State University, Lance Palmer and Nick Labosco. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Fighting 10. We are live at the awesome Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And we'd like to welcome our viewers that are watching worldwide on NBCSN. We have fighters about to be locked in the Decagon. We kick things off in the World Series of Fighting Featherweight Division, and we are scheduled for three rounds. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this fighter is undefeated with seven victories, no defeats, three of those wins coming by way of knockout, two by submission. Standing five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 140 5.8 pounds. He fights out of St. Louis, Missouri. This is his second appearance in the World Series of Fighting Decagon. Introducing Nikki Labosco. Well, he's undefeated and finished fights by submission and knockout, so he's got good wrestling as well. He should try to keep this fight standing after defending the takedown right away, strike with short combinations. And when it goes to the ground, get your opponent in the guard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent on my right, fighting out of the red corner. His record impresses. Seven victories versus one defeat. Standing five feet, six inches tall, weighing an even 145 pounds. He fights out of Cleveland, Ohio. He, too, is making his second appearance in the World Series of Fighting Decagon, presenting Lance Palmer. He's on paper the better wrestler who prefers the ground game, so set up takedowns with strikes and push the fight to look for a clinch because it's hard for his opponent to strike while moving backwards. Once on the ground, he strikes is Herb Dean. to set up submissions. submissions. And there is our referee, Herb Dean, in charge of the action here in the featherweight division. As we get ready to go, Cat Kelly gets things started off in round number one from Las Vegas, Nevada. Lance Palmer ready. in the black ready. trucks, Nick ready. Labosco in the white trucks. There we go, Palmer Southpaw stands. And I mean this in the kindest of ways, Lance Palmer is an absolute physical freak. A four-time All-American at Ohio State University as a wrestler. Physically, you know, he works out of that alpha male gym in Sacramento with the likes of Uriah Faber, Chad Mendez, Joseph Benavidez, and they say this guy brings it. And when they train wrestling, you don't get much better. There you go, and he already connected there with a big left hand. And that is kudos to, of course, Dwayne Ludwig over there. Nice time takedown, but really great takedown defense by Labosco. So Labosco, the 29-year-old, able to take Palmer's best there on that first takedown attempt and keeps it on his feet. And that's what, what that's why I said with Boss Breakdown, on paper, he's the better wrestler. Sometimes in the yep. cage, it doesn't really matter. Vasco coming off a huge win at World Series of Fighting Six and a KO over the heavily regarded Fabio Mello. Ooh, nice high kick there by Palmer. Wow. You see the improvement from Lance Palmer already. And the there we fight. go. He kept on driving right away here. We see LeBosco trying to get back up. This is not a terrible thing right now for LeBosco right now as he has his back up against the cage. Palmer, positive position here. He yeah, needs to control that hip there because otherwise LeBosco is going to sit back up. There we go. But pushing his whole body weight in there, needs to put the hooks yeah. in. Taking the back right away is Lance Palmer. He's got his left in, his right not yet. Palmer, three wins by way of, uh, two, uh, wait a minute, three ways by uh, submission. Yeah, two victories by submission. Palmer looking for a big bounce back victory after his loss to Georgie Carr Canyon at World Series of Fighting 7. But you gotta remember, only three years of pro experience in the MMA game Watch for Lance Palmer. Oh, look at that striking, he's got some serious power. So Nick Labosco in a bad situation right now as Lance Palmer has taken the back and now raining down some heavy shots. Big strikes there, Watch the and these are the punches you can't see coming. 
Not a good position to be in here for Lombosco. If he doesn't improve his position, they will put him, they will stop the fight. Herb Dean hovering right overhead. Keep fighting. Don't for your naked, no. He's already, Lombosco's moving. Lombosco drops his chin. He cannot let him slip underneath. Both guys are not sweating yet, so it's, it's a little harder to pull off. He's turning into Palmer right now, which is a very smart thing yep. because he gives the left side of his neck free so that Audrey can keep on flowing to the brain. Well, he'll give up the mount if he turns into Palmer, but it certainly will take away that chokehold that Palmer's trying to sink in deep. Yeah, Palmer can also let him go right away, go for crown and pound. Right now, this could not be a better situation for Lance Palmer, a terrible situation for Nick Labosco. That's the wrestling background again. Great control, keeping the opponent on the ground. Put his other hook in, stretching him out again. And there we go again. Power strikes from the back. He didn't get a warning yet, Lobosco, yeah. about improving his position. Under a minute to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three in the featherweight division. Oh, he might be under now. That's pretty deep. He might be under. That is pretty deep. Yeah, that's that it. Is it. The end of the fight is all over. Wow. Bouncing back like you said with a bang. From the get-go, Lance Palmer came out and just put it to Nick Labosco. So Palmer's record now goes to eight and one. Nick Labosco unfortunately gets his first loss of his professional career, but don't hang your head as you look at the teammates across the way with Chad Mendez, Uriah Faber working with Lance Palmer. Wow. Very impressive. Also, the strikes from the back were very powerful, the way he set it up. Look at this. Starts hitting. Well, it's pick your poison situation, boss. Right now, he's taking the head shots. He's getting the heavy leather. He rolls over, and then all of a sudden, look what happens. That's it. I always say striking into submission is the best way to get one. Make him think about something else. After the tap, Herb Dean steps in and pulls him off, and it's Lance Palmer, who is victorious here at World Series of Fighting 10. We'll be back with the official decision when we return to Las Vegas here on NBCSN. Back inside the joint here at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the end of an opening fight in the featherweight division. Lance Palmer with an impressive performance. We now sit it inside the cage. Jazz Securo has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a rear naked choke at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number one. Your winner, Lance Palmer. Wow. That was very impressive. Bounced right back from his last loss, which was a title fight. And uh, let's take a look at some highlights. Well, it was all a big highlight. Big hand there. Just drove through, keep driving through, had to take down. Power strikes here. I thought the referee was going to warn the opponent right there, but he didn't. And then out of the boost, slipped underneath the jaw. Rear naked choke. That's the way to do it. Picture perfect. Yeah. Ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.